Hello friends, welcome. Now let's go and see that I have write this for our course. So here I have list all the, the sites I know for the Tailwind CSS components. So we have the tailwindcomponents.com, the Tailwind UI, which is the official from the Tailwind CSS. We have the flowbyte.com, desiui.com, hyperui.dev, uh, merakui.com, tilewind-kit.com and the tilegrids. You can go here and uh, get components for free. So if I, I'm going to bring the browser and here's the tilewindcomponents.com, the tilewind UI, the flowbyte. Here we have browse components and now you can see, for example, if I go to the page section, hero section, and let's, uh, here we have some free section, but this is paid, as you can see, is the lock icon. If I go here, so this one is free, and you can uh, get the code. We have the HTML version, React, and View. And only this one is free, as you can see. This one is you need to go and make a payment. We have the flow byte also. Here you can find some Tailwind components. So let's go to the card. Okay, here we have an examples for all the cards. We have the Daisy UI and all the components we have here. The Hyper Dev UI also, the Merak UI browse components. As you can see, Tilewind Dash Kit. And the last one is this. Uh, tilegrids.com and we are going to use some components for us the free components okay you can uh, create the list for all resources and take a look and you can grab what you want okay so let's go now to the our project and i'm going to register because first we are going to use the work with the backend i want to create so if I go here, I want to create the skill and projects. So we need to have the skills and the project. The project is going to belong to the skill. And we are going to display in the portfolio the skills we have and also the projects we have. Now for the layout, I'm going to create the custom layout, the nav bar and the footer. And then we have sections. We have the hero section the about section, call to action section. The call to action is going to be something like this. So if I go to my website, laraveller.com, and it's going to be something like this. Okay. And we have the portfolio section here. We are going to display the projects and we are going to filter them uh, based on the scale. So if we click, for example, Laravel, we are going to display on, only, the port, only the projects belong to the Laravel and so on. Also, the services section is going to be hard-coded cards, so what uh, we offer for the clients. And the contact section, we are going to create a contact form we are going to display the location and the email, and we are going to send the mail from the contact form to, we are going to use uh, mailtrap.io. Okay, now, as I said, let's go to the browser and register. And I'm going to register the admin. I'm going to name it admin at admin.com, give it the password. And let's register the user. Now we have the 
user here. I'm going to create in the next video the skill and the project model and migration, and then create the roles and controllers. And I'm going to add the links here. We are going to use this the same uh, layout we have here. Okay, so see you in the next video.